Are they glutton-free brownies? <laughs> <laughs> Killing myself with the violin. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday. So today, like I said in my last vlog, we have JWIT, so we actually have a meeting at 10.30, um, last minute meeting with barn staff. So gonna be at the barn a little bit earlier than I was expecting, which is okay. So meeting at 10.30 and then we have JWIT. So JWIT will be super fun. We have devotion, we have a ground class and then a writing class. So this will be really fun, it's with teens. So get to do some discipleship with that, which I am super duper excited to do. And yeah, that's pretty much my Saturday besides having to do dishes at Woodside. So um, we have guest groups here at Lyla, so they're small compared to Victory, but um, I'm assigned to do dishes tonight. So that's pretty much what Saturday is going to look like. We'll see how much vlogging I can get done, but it'll be fun. So something that I was going over this morning was kind of my Devo outline that I want to go over the next five J-Wits. And something that we're going to talk about is someday dreams. And a lot of people, they don't even dream because they don't think it's really biblical. But to be honest, um, God wants us to dream. He gave us an imagination. He gave us passions. He gave us gifts. And we can dream. He wants us to dream. Um, he's not going to waste time and give us gifts that um, won't be of any use. <laughs> he wants to fulfill the kingdom in the best possible way. So a uh, quote that I love a lot is, if you don't need God to help you fulfill your dreams, then you're not dreaming big enough. And I really love that quote because it really makes you think of all the things that you could dream and all the things that actually can happen if God helps you with them because it's not really about you it's about you and God together as a team so think about that for a little bit saying good morning to my little haven she's so sweet oh baby you just walked up and say hello so cute So I'd like you to put your reins in your right hand and do some circles with your left arm. Just do some circles, move them around. Let's get your muscles ready to rise. We're going to do all those funny figures, remember? So you want to be able to do that. Now stretch that arm back and reach to your horse's hip. There you go. Now switch your arms. Now do some circles with your right arm and then reach to your right arm back for a couple of circles. Go ahead, go ahead with Haven. There you go, hands forward with Beautiful, it. Beautiful, Michaela. Nice transition. Check back on her a little bit. There you go. Make it go far on the railing. Nice snow center. Hold a little bit more with your That one's great. <laughs> Do you nice see that, baby? <laughs> Alright, how about you cut Ruger through the area? So we have like big oh, yeah. fractions, we have one fourth and then two fourths, and this is like kind of right in the middle. What? So come in and then stay on the quarter lines, don't go all the way out to the rail because you want to give them room because they're on the rail. Right? Look at them looking at the glass rose. It's pretty cool. Hey y'all, so we got Miriam right there, and then we have Natalie, her sister there. They were at camp a bunch, and they're super awesome. So, Jay Witt is done for the day. What did y'all think? It was awesome. It, it was, was awesome. A, it was a good first week. Brownies. Good first week. Brownies, there's brownies. <laughs> Are they good brownies? <laughs> Are they glutton-free brownies? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I thought. Okay, so what horses did y'all ride? I rode Haven. I rode you Grace. rode Haven. Cool. So, Miriam, you haven't ridden Haven before, right? Nope. First okay. time. What'd you think? She was amazing. I love her. <laughs> Sweet. She's so pretty. Yeah. And then, Natalie, you've ridden Grace before. <laughs> How was Grace today? A little bit less ornery, but good. She's tired. She's not thinking yeah. very much right now. <laughs> She's quite tired. Okay. So, next Jaywit is in, like, what, two weeks or something? Four weeks. 
Okay, oh, so... We're going to be gone. You're going to be gone. Well, that's sad. Okay, I have another question for you. Where do you guys live? Ninana. Ninana. Really? <laughs> it's about 50 miles south of Fairbanks. Okay. So, is it in the middle of nowhere, or is it a pretty big town? Uh, it's like about 400 people, so it's, I mean, it's not huge, but it's definitely not Fairbanks. So, what are the temperatures in the winter? Like So, 30, 50. The average is about negative 10, but okay. it can get to, we've seen negative 50, and sweet. Yeah. That's a little cold. It's a little cold. A <laughs> yeah. little cold. It gets that cold up here too sometimes. It so. does. I've heard that it gets like negative 30 and negative 40 maybe if it's super cold. But I've heard it's pretty dry. So yeah, I guess that has its pluses and minuses. Okay. Um, Anything else you all want to say? I don't Shannon's care. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> So, this is Ruth. I've talked about her a little bit in my vlogs, actually, but you've never seen her. So, this is Ruth. A face for the name. <laughs> yes. She's yeah. pretty awesome. She's one of the wits here. And, yeah, what do you want to say? Anything you want to say in particular? Hi. Hi. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. I see her a bunch. She just, she's the one that pops by my house and makes me really happy. So And eats food. And eats food. But yeah. not theirs because they're yeah. broke. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes. It's super fun. <laughs> So, Jaywood is done for the day. I went out and finished feeding, or actually, some girls helped me feed the horses, and then I cleaned the paddocks, and then some others helped clean the paddocks, which was a lot of fun. And I've got about 30 minutes until I need to go to Woodside and do some dishes. There's a group in, so I'm going to scrub some dishes and get some free food. <laughs> so, it'll be super great. I'm just going to plug away at some prep for this next week with classes so that's usually what I do on my off time I'm usually prepping for classes or practicing instruments and that is pretty much it <laughs> so that is my life a little bit so I'll update you all later so I just practiced the guitar and I'm currently practicing the fiddle and I just wanted to let you know because I need to vent <laughs> that so I, my goal for this fiddle is to be able to do fiddle music, no duh, that's why I call it a fiddle, but to also be able to do worship band stuff, which are two totally different kinds of styles of playing, and what is the most difficult is that I can hum the sound that I want to get out of my violin when it comes to background music in worship music. I can totally hum it. Super easy. It's just finding the stinking notes on this thing, <laughs> where I want to play it, and when, <laughs> and vibrato <laughs> are so difficult. <laughs> so honestly, y'all, this applies to life. If you have a goal and it's difficult, please stick through it because it eventually will be worth it. I've just got to keep pep talking myself because this is so stinking hard <laughs> but it is going to be so worth it when I can do it my vibrato stinks I still make this thing squeak and if you want to know what vibrato is it's that really pretty sound when a violinist holds a note that's what vibrato is and it's stinking hard <laughs> it is so hard but honestly some of the best things in life are the ones that you have to pretty much work hard for the other really good things in life are the things that are free, like Jesus dying for us. We didn't have to do a thing for that. So, there are different lessons in life, and you can learn lots of different things from a lot of different instruments and whatever. It's pretty awesome. So, I'm actually going to end the vlog here because there's really nothing else going on this evening except me killing myself with the violin, <laughs> pretty much. So, find joy in the little things and give God glory in all things. Bye. Ooh, ooh, one more thing. If you guys wanna know a fun fact about me is yesterday I was able to fit in my tall riding boots again and I am so excited. I haven't been able to fit in those in a very long time and my paddock boots and half chaps are falling apart. So it was either me fitting into my tall boots or selling my tall boots so I can get new paddock boots and half chaps. So currently it's going to be me fitting into my tall boots so I can ride in nice boots. <laughs> Ta-da! God is good! <laughs>